Hello everyone, UK here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks around the harpoon in Sea of Thieves. We're going to be looking at the basics around using the harpoon and then moving into learning how to utilize the harpoon to speed up and improve your gameplay. If you're new here to the channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up. Now let's take a look at improving your gameplay just by using a harpoon. To start off, I'm going to be quickly going over the basics of a harpoon. A lot of players already know these, but there are a lot of players that also do not. To begin, harpoons can be used to quickly grab crewmates, grab loot, making quick maneuvers, pulling your boat a bit closer to the dock since your crewmate is pretty bad at parking, and taking your pet megalodon out for a swim. To use a harpoon, it's left click or R trigger to shoot, right click or left trigger to reel the harpoon inwards. Harpoon reel lock is hold R on keyboard or X on controller. And lastly, either left click or right trigger to retract the harpoon if you're attached. A harpoon can be retracted in several ways other than manually pressing left click or right trigger. Once the harpoon is attached, you can retract it with a shot with a pistol, a blunderbuss, sniper rifle, slashing with a sword, or even throwing a blunder bomb at it. Sadly, fire bombs do not work when trying to retract a harpoon. So if you get harpooned by an enemy crew, just remember you can shoot their harpoon so it detaches from your boat. The harpoon reel lock essentially locks the harpoon so the cable cannot loosen or be reeled inwards. You must hold R or X to maintain the lock. Letting go will result in creating further distance with you and what you are attached to. Grabbing crewmates is the fastest way to get them back to the boat if you have the right angle. By aiming at them and shooting them, you can instantly pull them to the boat. This also works with enemy crewmates. To take loot from crewmates' hands, have them look directly at you and shoot. To bring crewmates and loot back to the ship, get them to spin around and shoot them in the back. This will be heavily utilized in the arena when a crewmate has the chest. When moving loot from an island or a skull fort back to your ship, using the harpoon is the quickest way to do so. A tip here is to set all loot in the exact same spot for the harpoon. The reason for this is when you are shooting, you can keep the harpoon aimed in the same general location. Have a crewmate stand beside the harpoon and move for fastest results. Here's an example of how fast loot can be gathered with this strategy. If you are using a harpoon solo to move loot, there is also a solo method to help you increase your speed. Shoot a chest and have it pulled back to the boat. Move either left or right side to grab the chest. Spin 180 and set the loot down. By spinning the camera back to the harpoon, you will see the X or F option appear on screen. By pressing X or F, this will automatically put you back on the harpoon without needing to manually move your character in front of the harpoon. Here is how fast you can get this process on keyboard and mouse. And yes, I know that was pretty fast on PC, but here is the same process on a controller. In case you're wondering why increasing solo loot removal from a harpoon is critical, just imagine a ship getting closer and closer. It all comes down to how fast you can get that loot before dropping seals. Now let's move on to ship maneuverability. In my opinion, reeling a harpoon is the most important skill to learn when using a harpoon. It will allow you to control the boat or even get out of crashing the boat without even touching the wheel. So it's a great fallback once you learn how to use it. You can reel the harpoon with right click on a mouse or left trigger on Xbox. Reeling essentially pulls the boat in that direction to which you have shot the harpoon. To explain this further, we need to take a closer look at islands. I've seen many people, whether it be on stream or YouTube, harpoon turn by shooting the beach on islands. Swimming out from an island, we can see the mass of the island goes beyond the beach down underwater. Everything you see here can be harpooned. Myself and crew call this a harpoon dig. Our call out for this will either be dig left or dig right depending on the situation. When you approach an island, shoot the harpoon downwards. The harpoon will now be attached to the part of the island that is underwater. This is where learning to reel is very important and most definitely will require practice. Once the harpoon is attached, start reeling the harpoon to adjust the boat without using the wheel. When you are finished making your adjustment, press left click or right trigger to detach the harpoon as you don't want that staying attached. Again, remember to detach the harpoon after every adjustment as it's easy to forget which will lead to the harpoon staying attached. If you see yourself crashing into an island, rather than quickly dropping the anchor or raising sails to slow the boat, try to remember a harpoon dig could be the fastest way to avoid crashing. Harpoon dig left or right, then reel yourself out of the obstruction. 
Now that you understand how reeling or harpoon digging works, it's time to put that all into practice. The next time a voyage brings you to an island, that'll crew made off to finish the big spot or riddle while you practice sailing around the island using harpoons. When I originally started practicing harpoon digging, I would sail through Thieves Haven on a solo brig. This allowed me to practice with the fastest boat, which I felt gave me the best practice. To finish off this video, here is a clip of me solo brig sailing through Thieves Haven using only harpoons. During this clip, keep an eye on how I would track the harpoon after every adjustment. When I began, I would get off the harpoon, forgetting it was still attached. Remembering after every use to manually retract allowed me to gain a better control over the harpoon. You'll also see small micro adjustments. This is me reeling for a split second to get a finer turn with the boat. I really hope there's been a few details in this video to help you utilize the harpoon a bit more than you have been already. Remember, keep practicing and you'll eventually find more uses for the harpoon to give you a little bit more of an edge. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the thumbs up button. Until the next one, thanks for watching.